the title is mostly true. My average viewer count right now is somewhere between three and six. I was super excited last week because that was the first time it had hit six. Usually it's like 4.5 or maybe I'll get to five, but I hit six. And um, I think the most interesting thing I realized from that experience was it didn't really matter what game I was playing. Actually, it kind of did. I enjoyed the game, all right? That was the most important part. Didn't have to be a popular game or an unpopular game so that more people could find your stream. It just has to be a game that you enjoy, which brings me to the most important point, the reason why I'm making this video. And obviously it's to help people who are new to streaming or maybe have been streaming for a while and are feeling a bit discouraged. And the main thing that you need to remember is that the stream is about you. It's not about the game you're playing. And it's not about your amazing setup, your equipment, all those awesome things. And those can, you know, make a difference, obviously. They, having a good mic, like having one here, makes it easier for you guys to hear me. But at the end of the day, you ever notice some of the most viral videos look like they were filmed on potatoes or they don't have uh, incredible desk setups with you know, XLR microphones and all these things. And that's because it is about the value that that person, that individual brings. And I would say that's sort of the, the central focus, the root of all of your success if you're trying to grow a stream. And listen, I'm making this with the intention that, you know, whoever's watching wants to grow their stream to something huge, you know. If you're familiar with Jinxie, who's the top streamer right now, he spent a very long time with like four or five people. And then eventually he grew that to a massive audience. I think last time I checked, he was streaming to some, I don't know, 70,000 people. It's a lot of people. And so that brings me to the second point, and I'm sure you've heard this in every YouTube guru video before, which by the way, I don't want to be a YouTube guru, it's just I need to make a point of having a specific thing that I discuss instead of going off in tangents, like I'm doing right now. You need to have a goal that you are striving to achieve with your broadcast, okay? Or with your channel, because let's be honest, no one really finds you on a Twitch stream, unless you know, you're just insanely attractive, you've got some sort of, I don't know, setup or situation going on that makes people immediately wanna stop and watch your broadcast. But for the vast majority of people, like you and me, that is not gonna be an option. So, what you need to do is post videos, shorts, whatever, you know, the stuff that you've been told to do for the longest time. And it needs to be about a specific thing. Now, a lot of people sort of turn off at this point and go, you know what, I wanna make stuff about what I wanna make. And that might change on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, there's a beautiful aspect to that because you can still make whatever you wanna make. Just make sure it falls within the umbrella of what people are used to watching because you wanna approach all of this like you're the viewer, okay? In fact, I, I challenge you today, you get a chance, go and watch a Twitch stream, someone you've never seen before, it doesn't have to be a huge channel, maybe it's someone with two or three viewers. Actually, go watch one with zero viewers and we'll see how, how well this experiment works. And just try to strike up a conversation with them. And if they respond to you, they're already ahead of the game, okay? If they actually dignify your message with a response, that is above and beyond because, believe it or not, there are so many instances where streamers are so hard focused on the game that they're playing that they completely ignore the fact that they're streaming. And the most important aspect of streaming is, sorry, I almost lost half my stuff here. The most important aspect of streaming is the broadcast, it's the interaction, it's you, all right? 
I said this in my last video, there's a reason why the audio levels of your stream focus on you more so than the game. And that's because I could watch the game anywhere, but I can't watch you anywhere. Now, here's the caveat. Yes, you might be unique, but why would I watch you as a newbie versus some other streamer newbie? Well, it depends what I'm interested in and how your interest in mine intersect. So if I were to use an example of something I really love, paintball, okay? If I made a video talking about paintball, but from the perspective of a streamer, then, you know, maybe that's a little vague, but it's a starting point. It's better than just, I'm a paintball player or I'm a streamer. Well, actually, I'm just a streamer is way worse because everyone and their mother wants to be a streamer. If you're a paintball player, it's a little bit more unique because uh, paintball is a niche sport, it's considered an extreme sport, which personally I disagree with. It's ironically one of the safest sports you can play, but discussion for another time. So if you can approach streaming through that lens of that specific interest that you have, then I think you stand a real chance. And listen, I, you know, I don't have the following to back up what I'm saying necessarily, but I've spent the past four years not giving up, which leads me to another point, and that's having a mentality that you're treating this like a job. And I have my best friend to thank for explaining this concept to me. It's like, okay, so let's say you have a nine to five gig you show up, your boss tells you what to do, you feel obligated to be there because you're getting paid and you know your coworkers are relying on you to get whatever work done that you need to get done. But when you're a streamer, you're in charge of everything. Let's say you don't even have a nine to five, but you could stream whenever the hell you want. And from the outside, most people think, oh, that sounds great, I can just go live whenever I want. But I'll say, for the vast majority of people, if you're just getting started, it's not going to work. And the reason why it's not going to work is to start off, it's too hard to keep track of when you're going live, especially as a viewer. I mean, imagine if you tried to watch a TV show. Now, this is for all the, all the old millennials who are watching this, if there are any. You remember trying to watch a TV show? It was always on at the same time every day. Imagine if now you just randomly go live whenever you feel like it. Now, sure, you get a go live notification, but if I'm in the middle of doing something, then probably not gonna be able to watch it. So that's reason number one. Number two is you're not taking it seriously because you're not treating it the same way that you would treat a nine to five. It's not so much about the work that you're doing or you know trying to impress your boss. It's about practicing things that make you a good person. I don't mean a good person in a moral sense. Someone who is uh, capable, competent, reliable. These are hallmarks that aren't just important in your workplace, but to making you feel good about yourself. I'm being completely frank with you. So you wanna treat streaming like that. You want to look at it as something that you are taking seriously. In the same way that actors struggle with the notion of, am I really an actor? I haven't been in a movie or anything like that. Well, are you going out on auditions? Are you submitting for roles? Have you updated your headshots? Have you edited your reel? If you're doing all that stuff, then yeah, you're an actor. Just because you're not booking gigs, you're not winning. I mean, you could be the worst team in the NBA. You're still a professional basketball player. You're still getting paid to show up and practice and uh, make that happen. So treat streaming like that. Start showing up for it. Set your schedule. Have people hold you accountable for it, whether it's friends, family, or hell, social media. I mean, for me in particular, I think social media is a great tool because I'm trying to get up every single morning at 5 a.m. And when I wake up, I have to post on my Instagram story with the timestamp of when I woke up. So if I mess up, that timestamp is gonna be a different time. I can't lie about that know what I want to because it kind of defeats the purpose. So, you know, hold yourself accountable to start streaming. And that doesn't mean you have to go hard in the paint, like streaming eight hours a day every day. That's just nonsense in this day and age. Maybe in 2014 that would have worked. 
if you were uh, entertaining enough, persistent enough, and you played the right games, you know, back when all the old advice used to tell you. But nowadays, streaming without making videos is like touring and doing concerts without releasing any singles or albums. It just doesn't make any sense. You want people to be able to see your stuff even when you're not live, which, you know, it's part of the reason why I'm making videos right now. One of the things that I, I really enjoy about streaming is the fact that I get to sit down and just have a conversation and hang out with the chat. And, you know, there's a little bit of an expectation as to uh, what they're gonna get from it. But I need to be able to share that beyond just the stream because you could be doing the greatest stream in the world. Let's say you were unboxing the rarest Pokemon cards of all time. But it doesn't matter how high quality your stream is if no one's going to find it. Because Twitch isn't set up in a way for an algorithm to feed your stream. I mean, if you have viewers, obviously, then it's going to be a self-fulfilling prophecy or a, a snowball effect where more people will watch you. But how do you get those people to watch you to begin with? Well, they got to see you in a place where you can be seen. That, in my honest opinion right now, the best place is probably YouTube. No, I don't know what's going to happen with TikTok. I mean, they technically extended the uh, potential date where they could be uh, banned in the U.S. And Instagram, I don't know what's going on with Instagram, man. I post there, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But YouTube seems to be the most consistent and it gives you the most options for the type of content you want to post. You know, you could make something highly edited and well put together or you could put something together like this. The main thing I want you to take away from this video is there are things that you can always be improving as far as growing a stream. And if you're a gamer like me, you stream video games, you need to stop thinking about it like streaming video games and more about you streaming. In fact, I challenge you to do a live stream with no game at all, where you just go live you talking about something you care about. If you're just starting, you don't have to be an expert in these things. Like, just talk about something you're interested in, okay? Because passion is authentic, and people will know when you really care about something. So share the things that you care about, whether you're good at them or not. That's another thing I hear too. People say, oh, well, I can't become a streamer because I'm not very good at the game. Since when has that ever mattered, all right? Look at the top. 1.1% of streamers that are actually good at games. And that's all they are, the top 0.1%. Those are the only boring streamers that make it, are the ones who are really good at games. And I don't really care to watch those people anyway. I mean, maybe once in a while if I'm super interested in that game. But I'm so focused on trying to do my own content that I can't really look at games in that way anymore. I see them more as an opportunity to I guess be background ASMR while I do my thing as a broadcaster. And so that's something I think you should take pride in. And uh, next time you go live, do that. And always remember that when you have zero viewers in your stream, there is a guy right now who has been doing it for four years and is still making videos and still streaming and still loves it no matter what.